say that I'm coming to you as a, as a client mm -hmm. um, to gain some understanding of myself and my life purpose uh, with astrology. What would I expect from you? Um, well, that's a big question. <laughs> I guess um, in a lot of ways I help people to, to find any sabotage patterns that they're running themselves that are stopping them from getting to their, their real purpose because a lot of us have fears that we're not aware of. Mm -hmm. I help people to understand what those fears are and that they're, they're coming quite often from the good things that they have done in the past, not necessarily the bad things. A lot of people have, have had uh, persecution from doing wonderful things in previous lifetimes. I actually work in a different way with astrology so I can bring up a lot of past life issues for people that really ring true in terms of what they experience in this life. Mm -hmm. They can see the echoes of those patterns in this lifetime. So it's quite an involved reading. I'll spend a, a number of hours with people um, going through all of the positive attributes of, it's like their toolkit, helping people to understand all of the tools in their kit that they have at their disposal, all okay. the things they can use. Just on past life, when you and I had been talking, you gave me a wonderful analogy mm -hmm. of how to explain a past life to people. You used the two-year-old. That's right, yes. Could you just share that one? Uh, well, I, the way I often describe it is that um, we tend to take for granted that we were once two years old. But of course, we don't really remember being two years old. And people show us photographs of ourselves at the age of two, and they say, that was you. And we look at the photograph, and we look at ourselves, and we look at the photograph, and there's not very much that we can see in common with that particular person. Mm -hmm. And yet, we still believe we were that person. But now we have a different personality. We even have a different body. Um, almost every cell of the body is completely transformed. It's all new energy. But the things that affected us at that age are still affecting us now. And reincarnation works the same way. It's just a more sudden change in the body. And that from one life to the next, I think probably the biggest stumbling block to people accepting reincarnation is that people think that it's the same personality that reincarnates mm -hmm. the same person, which is not actually the case. Um, if you have an Uncle Freddy who is a, a gregarious character and drank quite a lot, then he's not going to come back as Uncle you know, Freddy who drinks a lot and is very gregarious. He might come back as a woman. He might come back as a shy person. Or, you know, we have different personalities in each lifetime, but there's a thread of consciousness, is what it's called in, in the Buddhist teachings, it's the mind stream. And it's purely memory, so it's a thread of memory that, that continues from one life to the next, but it's not the actual personality. And it's just the same as when we were two years old. There's a thread of consciousness there, mm -hmm. but we're not the same personality we were at two. And we've learned a great deal since we were two, and from lifetime to lifetime we keep learning and developing mm -hmm. um, as we go through. So if people can sort of stop and really think about that. Um, we do take it for granted that we were two, but we don't know. <laughs> we're simply told. <laughs>
they're only looking at the huge wall in front of them of how will I achieve this, how will I do this, or thinking I'm not good enough, and uh, those sorts of issues come up. And once you give them permission to do what they're here to do, everything changes, you know, and they start glowing. Their, their spirit is alivened. It's about getting to the spirit of the person yeah. and really getting into their heart, and that's what's really important, and finding their usefulness in the world. Yeah. And I've, uh, I've found as an astrologer that's the most important thing, is yeah. people just need to feel useful. Okay. Yeah. We need to go to a break, and we'll come back with uh, Dr. Mm. Neil Hare. And also, this is what Kerry has just shared. This is one of the reasons of really wanting to bring this astrological and numero numerology subject over these next two programs to start understanding the impact it is having on us, to start looking at what we can do on a positive level. We'll get into more of that when we come back from the break. Stay with us.